setting things straight on credit lines. There are multiple factors typically considered in establishing credit card limits, including, but not limited to, income. The more you earn, the more likely you may be to pay back what you owe. Credit reports and credit scores. Payment history. How much credit you already have and utilize. How many hard inquiries you have and more may be taken into consideration. Other credit lines you have. Creditors may consider the limits you currently have on other accounts in establishing your credit line. Your debt to income ratio. This lets creditors know how much you owe in relation to how much money you bring in. Predetermined limits. Some card issuers have preset limits they offer. Length of employment. Being steadily employed suggests financial stability, which creditors like. No matter what your credit line, you may eventually want a credit line increase. There are two ways to get a credit line increase. You may be offered one, or you may request one. There are several benefits to a credit line increase, including, but not limited to, it provides more purchasing power. It could help you deal with an unexpected expense or emergency. It could increase your credit score by lowering your credit utilization ratio. It could help you get additional credit by making you look more attractive to potential lenders. There are several things you can do to increase your odds of receiving a credit line increase, including, but not limited to, demonstrating responsible credit use by making consistent on-time payments, paying down your debt, which could decrease your credit utilization ratio and debt to income ratio, increasing your income, and increasing your credit score. But ultimately, the criteria and methodology used to set and increase credit lines are up to your credit card issuer.